better than the Hilton, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. There is a swimming pool in the back. <laughs> Are you happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> this is too much, but thank no, you. It's good. It's good. This is not a confidential meeting here. What is it? Ah, you're in excellent health. But you do have a touch of syphilis. Hmm. So, take these as directed. And no more action in that department for at least three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, I have uh, three wives and six mistresses. It is my duty to keep them happy. Well, it is my suspicion that a brief rest might keep them happier than a dose of this. <laughs> you white men, <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> ah, before I forget, I need to ask a favor. Uh, anything. I will be in Libya next week, and I need you to attend a meeting in my place. What kind of meeting? A simple matter of taste and common sense. The president sent his apologies. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hello. Good afternoon, gentlemen. The president sends his apologies. Everybody, Everybody to the left! Everybody to the left! Everybody to the left! Nicholas, where have you been? Uh, you know, around. Uh, <laughs> now we are truly whole brothers. Huh? It is the name the Kokwa people give when two men they have slept with the same woman. Joy. Joy. You slept with Joy, huh? Joy, yes. Yeah, oh God. You too? Of course. <laughs> and the mother as well. <laughs> she was the best of them all. I have a surprise for you. Is there any questions here? General Amin, how do you respond to stories in overseas newspapers about people disappearing in Uganda? Mm -hmm. Who have you been talking with? The British. Go. Look around Uganda for missing people. Go anywhere you please. So why would the British spread these rumors? Because they are jealous of me. Because while they are starving, with uh, no food, and with uh, no electricity, with their strikes and with their protests, the people of Uganda are eating beef and driving big cars. <laughs> <laughs> also, they hate me because I refuse to recognize South Africa, a mothering racist. They call me a mothering racist. I think you will agree with me on this point here. This is all very well, Your Excellency, but what about the reports of mass killings? I'm coming. I'm coming, please. But this particular certain point 
is very important. If you want to know what kind of people the English are, they would hit me on the head with a hammer when I was playing rugby to make me play better. <laughs> Don't worry. It won't hurt a mean. Nothing but bone in that head. <laughs> but now this bone head, he is the president. And he is coming to their rescue. <laughs> we Ugandans, we like to help our friends. So the Ugandans have got together and saved three tons of food and the vegetables for their friends in the England. <laughs> because they are having economic difficulties, let me assure you here. <laughs> yes? Sir. Yes? Uh, can you confirm that you spoke to NASA about becoming the first black astronaut? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they are very interested. The only problem is finding a spacesuit big enough for me. <laughs> and is it also true that you challenged Muhammad Ali to a fight? And he refused. He has had a punch harder than a George Foreman. It's also been reported that you have crowned yourself the last king of Scotland. Indeed. Indeed. My good friends, the Scottish people, have heard how I have defeated the English here, and they want me to do the same for them there. This woman here. Uh, if you wrote to the Queen of England offering yourself as a lover. <laughs> <laughs> you you are you are very cheeky. <laughs> no, what I actually said was that her husband, Mrs. Philip, was very weak. <laughs> and if ever she wanted to know a real man, she should come to Kampala. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Is, is there any more questions here? Mr. President, 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 Ah, Dr. Garrigan. I'll do it. Right. I'll do it. I'll kill him. It's too late for that now. What? Whole place is going up in flames. Nobody cares about our mean any longer. Nothing left of the country worth salvaging in any case. Listen, forget what I said. We're all in the same boat now. Just get yourself to the airport now. Get you out of the country with everyone else. I can't. Don't be stupid. It's over. No. No, it's not. Well, my friend, you're on your own. 